Welcome back everybody. I did say there was going to be a follow-up to the last video. That one was one game for the rest of your life. And this one is in the same vein. I think so anyways. And it is, what is your dream game? Now, I haven't spent a lot of time thinking about this. It's not a question that I've asked myself, but I have watched other videos, other YouTubers talk about this before. And it's pretty interesting what they can come up with. I don't want to get too carried away with complex mechanics and a lot of micromanagement and stuff like that. I do enjoy those games from time to time, but in small doses. And I hear a lot of people talk about how they want a living world. They want a world that reacts to you. So for example, if you're going to kill somebody and you're going to take their cabin on a mountain, then there has to be a reaction from the world where maybe news comes down to the town guard and guards come up. Other NPCs might fear you. Remember a lot of what Fable wanted to do but failed to achieve just because of the technology at the time? Now, I would certainly enjoy a game like that, but I'm not sure if it's my dream game necessarily. Something like an evolved version of Mass Effect would also be really cool for me. I like the idea of a game being in space, especially as technology progresses and space becomes more of a reality for us here on Earth. But I don't want to spend too much time doing tedious things that are too close to realism, right? I want it fun, I want it a little lighter, I want some more simple systems to keep it a video game. So for this video and for this idea, while this may not be my definitive dream game, I'm gonna use Breath of the Wild as a template to build upon. I feel like Breath of the Wild, it achieves so much for me. I mean, first of all, it's Zelda, so there's a lot of nostalgia there, and it is one of my favorite video game series ever. And Breath of the Wild, just how it unlocked new possibilities and it played with a fun physics engine, I love a lot of what's already in place there. So I'm just going to try to expand and elaborate from there. Now, I'd just like to start with a prediction for Zelda. I think we're going to see crafting in its future, and that's not a really bold prediction either, but how it's going to be implemented. I can imagine that in reality, what Nintendo is going to do is they're probably going to take Hateno Village and they're going to have a little bit more of an involved, customizable town so you can play with it a little bit more. Now, my dream for that, if they're actually going to do more with Hateno Village or something similar to it, why not expand on the kind of gameplay that's available? How about you involve some tower defense? So there could even be these hordes that maybe every Blood Moon or something, a bunch of the goblins or Ganon's army is going to invade upon your town, and it's up to you to already have defenses in place for it, and you can be there, and you can kind of fight Hyrule Warrior style. What about some simulation gameplay? There could be a system in place where traders come in from different towns, for example, Zora traders and Goron traders and all other races that are in Zelda, and you can build different relations with the other villages uh, that could lower prices for what you want to trade. There's a lot of possibility there if you really make the new Hateno village a big hub, a trading hub, and a defensible hub. And lastly, I have a dream about how I'd like construction to be implemented in the game. Yes, you can have your village construction, but I think it would also be pretty great to have something like Fortnite resource gathering, where it's super simple. You just, you know, hack away at a tree, which it already is in Zelda, right? When you break a tree, when you chop a tree down, you get a pile of lumber. It's just one lumber, you chop the tree, that's it. You don't have different blocks, and you don't arrange them in various ways. But you just gather resources choo-choo jelly, uh, stone pieces, whatever. And the way that it would really fit in the Zelda universe is you can traverse the land and you can look for blueprints. These blueprints could be uploaded to your Sheikah Slate and then your Sheikah Slate could cast a hologram out in front of you and it shows that, okay, you're trying to build a little tower here or okay, you're trying to build a little hut here and provided you have the resources, then bam, you just press a button and it builds the building in front of you and that's it. That's the extent of building in Zelda. Maybe you can de deconstruct it and get some of your resources back, but nothing too crazy. It doesn't need to be too crazy in a Zelda game. Now, I have another prediction, and this is a little bit of wishful thinking, because I hope this happens. This has a little bit of my dreamer element to it. I can predict a future where in some future iteration of Zelda, when Nintendo wants to go back to classic gameplay, remember how the dungeons used to be? They feel a lot different in Breath of the Wild. Well, what if there's, for example, some portals, or you can do it a Link Between Worlds style? Whatever the means is, whatever the medium is, there's a way to take the player and transform them, kind of like in Super Mario Odyssey, and you can play maybe a 2D dungeon. So when you get in, it could be like Wizrobe or whatever has laid a spell on this land, and when Link enters the land, all of a sudden the perspective and the whole gameplay changes. And then Nintendo can kind of give something what all fans of the series want. Here's your Breath of the Wild game, your open world game. And here's something for you older, more traditional gamers. Here's a dungeon basically ripped from A Link to the Past. 
And I'm not too fond of this next idea, but I just started thinking about other ways that they can incorporate different type of Zelda gameplay into this new Breath of the Wild era, which I think we're living in, and I don't see Nintendo regressing back to older Zeldas. So how can we experience it? I don't know if Zelda would ever play with the multiverse kind of idea where, yes, you are one link in the timeline or whatever, and you can interact with other links from the Legend of Zelda, right? You're just interacting with other legends, Maybe you can read it in a book. Maybe there are tales that are passed down to you. But there's a lot of ways that Nintendo can probably incorporate some more diverse gameplay. So that's it, guys. Just a really short video. Just some of the things off the top of my head that I was thinking of. I thought after the last video, this would be a fun follow-up. More for you guys to consider. More for you to talk about. And more for you to share with me. If you have a dream game already in mind, let me know a little bit about what you're thinking. If you're not worried about someone stealing the idea. And if watching this video inspired any ideas, then let me know. Give me some feedback. What would you want? Would you want something in the Zelda universe? Would you want something elsewhere? Would you want a brand new universe? Who knows? Once again, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.